Go Jason Cross. <laughs> Just let the trick. I need a piss. <coughs> Hey Blankers, and welcome back to the second part of this podcast episode. Do you remember at the end of the last one, we had so much great stuff recorded, we had to break it up? Well, this is the next bloody bit. Enjoy! All right, welcome back, everybody, to the second part of the podcast. And we are joined, uh, as we are in this second season, by a local legend. This time round... I'm building it up already fairly big. Richard Sandling is with us. Good evening, Ooh. sir. Hello. <laughs> big posse Hello. move. Hello. Uh, thanks for letting my entourage in. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was part of your rider. We couldn't say no, <laughs> could we? It seemed, it seemed cruel to leave them outside, <laughs> chained up in the drizzle. How are you doing, sir? You very right? well. Thanks for having me along. Thank you for joining us in our salubrious palatial uh, surroundings. It is very mm. swanky. It is a bit, isn't it? You don't want to get it away. Swanky or wanky? Wanky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, both. Silent, <laughs> yes. silent S, as ever. Uh, nice. So, um, for the listeners and the benefit of the tape, Your Honour, um, would you like to tell us who you are and what you do? Oh, hello. Uh, my name's Richard. Uh, I am an actor and comedian, mainly actor now, formerly uh, comedian, award-winning stand-up comedian. Uh, Lovely. Thank you very much. Touche. Uh, thank you. Yeah, and a real and a real award, not like you know one of those nice. uh, <laughs> yeah, an actual yeah. award. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then. Um, <laughs> And now I sort of, I was, you know, I just do a lot of acting and I sort of make films and content online and uh, musician. Uh, oh, it's oh, very exciting. Triple threat? Triple oh, threat. Quadruple threat. Wow. Threat. Can, uh, it's going to be a long one. Didn't lot. I the musician wow. card? I can there? be, uh, I can, you know, there, is, there are many things that people are disinterested in me doing. <laughs> <laughs> so many strings to this bar. I have, yeah, like, like everyone. Pull them rarely. You basically just have to monetize your hobbies. So <laughs> this is I, have, I have no way of letting off steam because everything is now yeah. potentially money. It's a revenue yeah. stream. <laughs> Everything's a revenue stream. <laughs> I used to enjoy that. Not now. Now I've got to try to freelance it. Yeah. Now I have to do a tax return about it. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Okay, so let's uh, let's dive in then, shall we? What should we tackle first, Jen? Should we go for the comedy bit first? Yeah, I think so. I'm, yeah. I'm do intrigued some about this award. And mm. <laughs> should we go straight for it? Yeah. <laughs> Phil wants to see the glittery shit. Yeah. What did you get your award uh, for? I won So You Think You're Funny in 2007. Shit, the bed. That's a big is, one. Yeah, it's um, it's essentially it's the it's the best you know uh new act uh wow. award. so for people who've been gigging about yeah. like about a year yeah you like i was voted the best uh and i be in the final I was gonna say, yeah. who yeah, I, yeah. let's in rub it in who did we, uh, who uh, did we uh, the floor with? uh jack whitehall uh oh. andy osho oh, yeah. uh okay. daniel rigby wow yeah uh uh, lots of other people, yeah, but like but those are the people I think people at home might so know. Sort of made better. It I mean, to be fair, like further. Jack yeah. Whitehall won every single other competition that year and has they done just, all right. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Kind, it didn't hurt. Right. Yeah. 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 That it did, Hollywood it magic. Was, yeah. It wasn't wasn't a huge like bump in the road like, of his yeah. career. So. Yeah. I was doing so well, and then that bloody sandling. Yeah, thing, yeah. Like, derailed everything. And I did stop the clean sweep. But other than yeah. that, like uh, every talk show, he brings it up. Yeah, will not let it go. Won't will it? I feel like he brings out the more. Than I do. Yeah, uh, it should be the I other way around. Yeah, might be, might be, yeah. Yeah. He's never let it go. Wow. <laughs> Some people uh, just turn <laughs> onto a grudge. I, I remember how you think you play because it's eight minutes, isn't it? Yeah, or was it longer in the final? Well, it's it's essentially it's like I think it's seven because it's like um because the prize, which is yeah. amazing. Is you, I don't know if they still do this, but when I won it, mm. your prize is you get to go to Montreal just for laughs and be part of the oh, British really? comedy showcase. So your prize for winning Say so You Think You're Funny is to not be at all ready for the biggest <laughs> wow. industry and trade life. fair yeah. in the world. <laughs> so it's lovely, wow. but you're like, I am not ready now for I'm out this. Oh, yeah. And also, like when I did yeah. comedy, I did it for a laugh. I mean, like, like as a, as fun, as a hobby. Yeah. There yeah, wasn't sure. like, I'm going to be a comedian, I have the drive. It's like, I right. quite like comedy, I'll do it and then I sort yeah. of was quite good at it you know yeah. Yeah, so it yeah. wasn't it's even on going to Montreal I'm like I, this is like this is not, not ridiculous <laughs> but like yeah. I'm what not I, I don't, I don't is, understand yeah. I'm not here I sort of don't understand yeah. how I'm supposed to be networking to get things and it's yeah. like 
you know, you talk, you like, you go to Edinburgh and you sort of, you know, everyone's in Brooks Bar and you're talking to people and they're like, oh, and you talk about, oh, I work, and it's industry people, oh, great, what do you do? I oh, like, I'm a production assistant for Channel 4. And you're like, that's right. not industry. Yeah. yeah you're yeah, a runner. Not like, you're a runner. Yeah, that's not industry. Yeah. I mean, thank you, great. I mean, well done. Like, but, <laughs> but like, that's not industry. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and you go booking, to, like, man. you're just chatting to, because when you go to Montreal, you, should, you, all, you all stay in one hotel. Right. Right. So it's not like you're here, you're there. Like, you put you all in one hotel. So everybody who's at Montreal just for last is in the hotel. So you're just in the bar hanging out and you're like who's that and he's like that's the vice president of Paramount and you're like yeah. oh right well, that's who that's, that's, a problem. that's, that's who you're that. talking to yeah. that's like that's the Montreal yeah, wow. Brooks Bar experience so have you still then got people in your Rolodex because obviously they're still used right mm. yeah. um, from people that you've met yeah well obviously then, there's or... people who I've met yeah I mean you sort of I had, actually am but then the, like, it doesn't really come doesn't say it doesn't yeah. come to anything but if you like they they're all they're American or they're right, Canadian, okay. so it's like it's very hard. You sort of bump into them in Edinburgh when you're yeah. up there, yeah. But it's hard to sort of maintain a relationship with people where they're in another country and yeah. it's no. doing stuff. But so yeah, how it's really did good. Montreal go? Uh, I really enjoyed yeah. it. I mean, it's like when you sort of don't when you sort of not say don't care, but like I'm like I'm just as great. I've won this competition. I'm in Montreal yeah. just for laughs, which I always love because yeah, I remember watching Montreal just for laughs. Used to be on Channel Four late yeah, night, yeah. and it was great. Like yeah. all the sort of random nonsense and stuff you'd see. Particularly the American acts you'd never really yeah. heard of because you didn't get that sort of comedy. Yeah. Uh, so it was lovely. And just like, you know, there's just, you know, um, meet some nice people. And I, 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 when I was there, there was a sketch. There was a, the sketch thing. They do a sketch preview, like a so mm. one off thing. And it was hosted by. Uh, a, a double act they put together just for the festival of Bill Hader and Bob Odenkirk. So I was like, and obviously, because I used to be a, Mr., a huge Mr. Well, I still am a Mr. Show fan, if you've ever seen Mr. Yeah, Show, which yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. And it's uh, David Cross and Bob Odenkirk. And then, so it's just like wow. talking to like Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> like, oh, really like Mr. Oh, Show. Really? <laughs> you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm fan definitely of Mr. not Show. fan girl in but... you know, I got, I'm Mr. Odenkirk. I really <laughs> like it, Mr. Was Show. Was it exactly like? Yeah, well, well, pretty much. I mean, I think I'd like to think I started. Yeah, 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 more, yeah, but, uh, really handled myself quite well. It was a bit that. No, I can yeah. imagine. And then obviously, like, um, As you you're in the bar, up, and it's yeah. a little bit yeah. hard because I'm not anybody. So it's not that everyone's like offish, but mm. they don't know you. And it's, you know, yeah. with all these things, most people are, most people in real life, in any mm. industry, they're all yeah. approachable. You just need yeah. a reason to be talking to them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the hard thing is mm. having a reason to be talking to Absolutely, someone. Yeah. And I just remember it was like, oh, loads, like, loads of comedians I did know who were there, like the British ones, but mm. I didn't know anyone. And then I remember, like, just like I was sort of standing at the bar, and then like Bill Hader just like chatted to me because I was obviously on my own, and I'm like, oh, really? I've never oh, forgotten okay. <laughs> that, Bill, wow. that Bill Hader was nice <laughs> to me in 2007. Oh, <laughs> so I was my like, God. didn't really know because he'd, yeah. like, he'd really just started doing Saturday Night Live yeah. and stuff, and I was like, yeah. oh, that guy's really nice, and he was he, really funny at the thing, it. and then I was like, <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah I, th- I, think he's, right. I think he's got something. I've got an eye for these things. So, uh, <laughs> got oh, on man. Was he, uh, hey. who, so wow. who, were they the most intimidating people you spoke to? Well, there was a few. I mean, there was like um, the Who's Line people were there. So oh, like, okay. right, I mean, the South Park were there doing yeah. stuff. And, like Ryan uh, Stiles. And Ryan Stiles yeah. was there. I think, well, I think it was right. I think it was, might have been just Ryan Stiles. I'm not sure whether it was Colin Mockery as well. But yeah, and then all the South Lot people were there, right, and like okay. Judd Apatow, and Seth Rogen, well, they were all laugh. doing stuff, and he's just like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're trying to sort of think back now, in 2007, what yeah. was kind of big at that point? Yeah, well, I think they yeah, just yeah. done like it was, it was um, happening, Saving though, Sarah Marshall or Get Us to the Greek. It was all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, yeah. So it was like, um, yeah, it was one of those, it was one. Of, it was that kind of thing, of that those kind of lots of like super yeah. bad. I don't think that was a bit early, but like, they were like there because they'd sort of, yeah. I think they were doing the State of the Nation speech and stuff like that. So right, was, okay. But it's quite good. It was really good. It's like ridiculous, but you kind of go, I actually quite like the fact that I enjoyed it and got to enjoy yeah. it rather than worry about the fact Absolutely, that it was. Because yeah. if you go like, oh my God, I've got to do this, this thing. I've got to go impress well, everybody. I've got to yeah, make yeah, sure, sure that I nail yeah. this seven. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's so much better if you don't, have to you just go? Oh, I'm like, and it's just I'm yeah, on holiday just a one-off and, <laughs> as well. I just did like two, two, two seven-minute shows. Did so like literally, the you were taken away for fourteen minutes work. Taken away for really? fourteen minutes work, which was yeah. a, wow. <laughs> for fourteen. Minutes. Was, well, was it in a big theatre as well? It was some beasts big, out yeah, there. So yeah. It was like ridiculous. Was it like, and then, it, yeah, it mean, doesn't sort of worry me. But yeah, no, it's, no. Like, it's more that thing of like. Are they going to understand all my references? Because right. you like, keep it very. I do like your own experience. Well, sort of, like yeah, stuff. I mean, I do like. I mean, I. I, I, did, only, I only really had like 
I only really had the seven minutes to <laughs> the competition. It's like, I was, so I was always the thing was always, even still today, it's like, if they're not enjoying it, I haven't got anything else yeah. to do. Okay. There's, there's I've no got fallback, like 40 lads. minutes. I've got another 40 minutes I could do, but it's yeah. all going to be basically the same thing you're not enjoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it will just be different I've variations got, of I've the got thing more you're of not plan enjoying. A. Yeah, yeah. I am lacking in there's the There's very few sort of departures <laughs> off, you know, yeah. it's basically, if you don't like this, it's just this for the next. <laughs> just going to the bar, yeah, bar so, button. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. So if that's the the most in, not intimidating gig, but the biggest gig per se, what's yeah. what was? Do you remember your first ever one then? Going yes. right back to the beginning. Yes, that was. A, How did you start off? Well, by accident, well, not by accident, mm. but um, a lot of people again because I just was like I went to Edinburgh. Uh, I sort of did like some weird little play thing. Just went up to Edinburgh, sort of two thousand. When was it? So what age would this Four? be? For I was example? like I was in my twenty. I forget exactly. But it was mm. like two thousand and sort of. Four, I okay. think I went up. Okay. Or maybe it was five, but it was around then. And I just was didn't know what to do. And I saw the thing at the back of the stage. Remember, you used to have to get newspapers to get work. So the stage <laughs> magazine. Oh, right. okay. yeah. Someone said like people like actors wanted for a thing going to Edinburgh, and I was like, well, I didn't have anything to do. I think mm. I just finished my job, and I was like, well, I might do that. And it was like mm. nine of us, nine of us sleeping in a two bedroom apartment. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It was like we all had to live together. It was like a sort of murder mystery, but like. For pen- it was on at noon. Right, so it was okay. a murder right. mystery for basically for pensioners old, and tourists. It was yeah. very light, very slight, but like but, like good. But yeah. like it was basically at noon. This is basically, again. This is when there was like no. It wasn't oversaturated. Mm, right. Okay. This was back in the day when there was nothing to do before four or five o'clock because all the comedians were in the yeah. evening. So, yeah. but there's but people have got families, people have got kids, tourists. Absolutely. They need stuff. So they they cleverly went. We'll put a thing on at noon. There's a there's a hole in there's it. A hole and then everybody it. Yeah, yeah. like everybody we sold out most days because Perfect. just be, well not not just because but you know supply and demand. Absolutely. It's like yeah, people yeah. have got up, they've had breakfast. What are they going to do? Well, I was like hung over every morning, you know. Like, <laughs> okay. But it was at this place called the Cafe Royal, which right. I think I forget where it is now, but it's the one. If you've been to Edinburgh, it's the one which is behind Burger King on Prince's Street. Sweet. Okay. Just mm. think, I forget what it, what that's called now. It's changed its name. Yeah, sure. And it was run by um, Daryl Martin, who does Just the Tonic. I know, yeah. And because I was at university, so long, but I'll try and keep this l- less <laughs> no, no. Uh, like a sort of true crime podcast. Like, then I was at university <laughs> with this person. We'll do it. We'll uh, yeah. round up halfway through. <laughs> yeah, it was plot points. Making a comedian. <laughs> uh, and then I went. to was at university with a comedian, Will Hodgson. Uh, who won the Perrier before the right. year before 2004? So when I went up, I was like, "Oh, Will was like, see, Will, yeah. he was on at that venue." But then I met him and hung out. So basically, because I was up there like just in the show at noon, I then spent the whole rest of the festival just hanging out and meeting people, yeah. meeting all these people. So it's like. Then Will would basically take me around and show me to people, and it was like, "Oh, this is Robin Inch. You might like him." I was like, "Yeah, I oh, do okay. like Robin Inch." You know, yeah. like that's Josie Long. You probably like what she's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. You know, so it was all that kind of thing. And then yeah. Daryl was really good at putting stuff on. So we had like. Um, like comedians who weren't up there to perform would just be on. So like Stuart Lee, when he was still retired from stand-up, would just yeah, like yeah. just DJ the fall for five hours oh, at the bar, really? you know, okay, like okay. and like Johnny Vegas DJ'd and yeah. Yeah. always like Tim Vine just did like some acoustic songs. <laughs> right, but the only okay. thing he was doing that it was all that kind mm. of thing. He was yeah. really good at that. And then I was like, oh, I think I could. I like this. I like this, this is, is good. Yeah. Like I this like it. Kind of vibe, because yeah. you're seeing it live, which you've only ever seen it on the telly, mm. and you go, mm. "Telly stuff's good," but it's not like seeing no, it. It's not, and yeah, especially when you're in a different. base where it's all they're slightly alternative and they're more interesting. Yeah. And it's not very, you know, it's not sort of you know generic. You know, mushroom. you know, Lidl's is a bit cheap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah men yeah, and women sure. are a bit different, aren't they? Anyone <laughs> yeah, got yeah. kids? That's yeah. tricky. It's all a little bit. He's stolen all my material, guys. Okay. So it was really interesting, and then. Uh, Will was on at the place called the Holyrood Tavern, mm. which I don't know if you've been, if you, for people who know, just yeah. know, people, in case people know Edinburgh, Holyrood Tavern, which is now not there anymore, or not venue. And that was great. And that was run by Brian Damage and Crystal, who did Pear Shades. Yeah, the Pear Shades, The great yeah. Brian Damage and Crystal. You might yeah, know they're... Britain's Got Talent just recently, but they're like yeah, okay. genuinely one of like my favourite, yeah, they're... probably my favourite live act ever, like genuinely they're... my favourite live act. It's a shame they've, ever, they've emigrated now. They've emigrated yeah. to Australia. Oh, I think she's Australian originally, so yeah. they've probably gone there. Oh, no, they're, they're but brilliant. Yeah. But they're just, just so yeah. good, like so good. It's like my mm. mate said, but even then it was like, in any in, in other country, they would be like, top they'd have oh, yeah. like a sort of, they'd be on Saturday night every Saturday night. Because yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, of course. In France, mm. the acts like that, mm. like people, they have a massive following. But in the UK, for yeah. some reason, we don't appreciate those sort of acts. Yeah. And this this thing called Pear Shaped at Midnight, so it would be on. And I remember Will would just said to me, he's like, you like you, you want to do comedy, didn't you? Sometime I was like, yeah, right. Mm. He was like, Rich would do a sh- Rich would do a set tonight. 
And I was like, really? oh, all right. No like, pressure. Yeah, I was like, you, you, well, you. I was like, well, yeah. you guys, you've got some material yeah. in you. you got jokes. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then I had like, How long was the set? Well, it was like five minutes, but then I had like basically four hours. Two hours. To, like, yeah, get it. Four really? hours to, <laughs> like, to write my five, to write my five minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's wow. like, there's no plan to it. It's like, okay, I'll yeah. go and do my first five yeah. minutes of stand up because oh, it'll do it. But Will must have seen something in you, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. But just also probably like, he won't do it if I don't make it. You know, what it was. So I did it. It was awful. Yeah. You know, Awful, or, you know, didn't it wasn't bad, badly received, but what well, you know, no one's good in their first five minutes because it's of course, yeah, you, you, you need it's, craft, it's yeah, awful. Also, like, you, yeah. It, it. Yeah. yeah, just basically chain drank oh, gin and tonics yeah. the whole time, <laughs> for like four hours. It was just how, ridiculous. How many would you say were in the audience in that case? Because it was, it was quite, well, it was, it's like a back room, time, surely, it's, it's a back fairly... room of a bar, you know, it's like in the it's like a back room. So, I mean, I wouldn't say like, I mean, I think you could get in that room, you could probably get. 60 oh, okay. thing, but I don't know if 60 mm. were in there but it wasn't like to, to three people yeah, it's not because, just, yeah, one man because I'm dog. just doing my first five but there's like you know proper acts on doing oh, right. like wow. actually you know yeah. so there's yeah. like you know so wow. So I sort of did it, and it was like, "Hello, uh, uh, all right, yeah." Uh, did <laughs> my show. I'm off Basically, I had like a little song I used to do. So I sort of, I sort of did that thing where you sort of crowbar in a, a humorous song as, <laughs> oh, as okay. like a comedy song. Yeah, yeah. that's two minutes. I've got, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then out like now. three, yeah. sort of three jokes, and then uh, thank you very much. Good night. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, just yeah. sort of left, and then like another fifteen uh, gin and tonics. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, yeah. Bring me down. Bring me down. I need quitting. Okay. But you're just passing after that. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. Well, you go, oh my god, yeah, I like this. I like this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then so did you go back for some more, or did you? No, kind of rule that was it. I sort of did that. Then, but then I thought, I know that's a great story. Like I, I enjoy think, this. Yeah. Like I'm gonna. Uh, I thought like I might set. A, I liked all the access doors. I, like, mm. I might set something up in South End, and like so right. I set like a club yeah. up in South End. It was like an alternative comedy night. To get the axe to come down, and then I sort of I just emceed it, like you know, like so how learn do you go to about MC by MC. setting that up. Then, well, just again, start. it's like I didn't know what I was doing, so mm. I just set, I just went. I it was a place I used to go to. It was at the Royal Hotel in South End, yeah. and I used I'll to know. See that, on YouTube, I didn't know yeah. if it was the Royal. I thought it was the Railway. Well, the yeah. Railway have done stuff at the Railway as well. This, oh, so, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But the Royal Hotel, yeah. when it used to be like when you had like Junk Club and uh, mm. like all that kind of stuff, so it was like three Royal floors. Hotel, it was promoted. Yeah. And it was great. And so I knew them from like the nightclubs and doing stuff, and they were like, "Oh, you should put a gig on it." Like they have got the ballroom upstairs. I just yeah, put, yeah, I'll sure. do that. Put it on in there. Yeah. Thanks. Like it was oh, great. Yeah, and then, no like, problem. Easy. And then I just sort of like I'll ask some people I know to come and do some gigs, and then they sort of came down. It was like you know just the people I knew from gig, and I didn't even really gig. I just sort of started emceeing my own gig rather yeah. than gigging on the circuit. Yeah, because I had no idea how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably one of the best ways. Yeah, well, learn, learn learn to yeah. Because every month you sort of do twenty minutes of material, yeah. even the, and it's like oh, it's probably three minutes in there I can do. Then by year, by like a year, yeah, you've got Extend, and you've got like yeah, a fifteen twenty out. minute set yeah. technically yeah, yeah. Like, mm. of material you've done that's all right. Yeah. So yeah. Wow, that's a that's a big old step, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's scary. That's so then, I mean, I'll be shit. Well, it's the joy yeah. of not really having any idea what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like exactly, when you don't yeah. know what you're supposed it's to bust, do, bust, bust, it's no it? longer blind. Yeah, fear, it's just blind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's that's really scary because I did. Like, I remember doing a showcase for it, so yeah. Yeah, it's building up to that. Yeah. So then it wasn't like it was a case of like I know six, eight to eight weeks course. Yeah. And then the showcase at the end, but that's like intense. Yeah, just that's just intense. Yeah. I got a little bit. That's like someone recommended. And is it worse? With the building up to it, than being thrown in the deep yeah, end. Yeah, as far as you no, could ask, because no well, you've got to, uh, time to like, think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah, hours, baby. bang, yeah. you've got to do it. You've got six to eight weeks. You're bricking it even yeah, more. Yeah. This, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying it. Don't get me wrong. That sounds bloody devastating. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. Probably a flip of it could be better. But yeah. oh no, yeah. I'd probably prefer your route. <laughs> 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 just two hours. How, how far can you coast on charm? Yeah, yeah. It turns out. We cool. don't know. We have done. So then you went from there, and then that's... So when did you start sort of going, hang on a minute, I'm going to start gigging yeah, in London? Well, I just sort of got some... I'd get yeah. people down there, and we just like, oh, you know, you should go, you should book this. Oh, it's right, just when okay. you're still using like, the Murph Control diary yeah, yeah. to look for available yeah, yeah. acts and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, like... And I was, but also the main reason I did the competitions was because it was open mic gigs that I could yeah, get. If you entered a sure. competition, they would, they would book you because yeah. they needed open mic people yeah, to do the competition. So, and then what was better then? Because again, because it's like there wasn't a million comedians. Yeah. There wasn't like... It wasn't yeah. a hugely saturated. As as it currently is, yeah. And so you might not get paid, but it was quite easy to gig a lot. And also, you do the open mic gig, and then pretty much everybody who had an open, who was at those comedy competitions, mm. ran the gig as well. So, so you would already, meet them, yeah. and they go, oh, "You should do my gig. Hey, great, yeah. you should do my gig." And then basically, yeah, yeah. you'd all just do each other's gigs, and it was a lot easier to sort of
and I did uh, some new material mm. at a thing, and it went well. But then it was like Fine. there's like well, there's no was, momentum. Yeah, I, said, I did it, and I've yeah. done my I've, I've done it in front of some people, so I know it worked. Yeah, but there was no like none of the other acts on even, were running up, other were ran yeah. their own gigs. So there was no one there who would right. go, oh, he was good. I might book him. It's and too, then too much talent out there. Like no to, one, to you know. So I did it, and it was good, but it was just like it was like you know just into the ether and left. There was no there was no way of getting any momentum. Right. Okay. I might gig again next week. Well, where do I gig? Like so, you know, who was the comedian, Richard? That you like you watched the first time and you thought. Yeah, you're going to be good. And who, or who was the comedian you watched and they probably didn't do that well, but then, like, oh, actually yeah, you rose. Ask him, ask him to name names. Sort of, oh. Yeah, oh, is, is that oh. okay or you're not, happy, you're not happy to do it? Well, there's, like, was, there was quite a lot of... The thing is, when I there was lots of people who are really, really, really good. Yeah. But for some reason, it doesn't translate to, like, telly work or... Yeah. This. But the thing is, is, like, what I realised when you do the comedy circuit is that there's... And again, again this was before telly was so yeah. prevalent. Mm that you can make a living doing comedy without being on the telly. Like, it's perfectly you simple. Just to, like, have to There's be people to, you go, yeah. Yeah, never heard. Because that's the thing, you're trying to book a gig, they go, what have, they, what have I seen them do? Well, nothing if you don't go to comedy gigs, because yeah. they're yeah. comedians. Like, I mean, it's worse now. It's like, they're not on telly, no one Absolutely. will go. Don't exist. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, then, they go, well, what have I seen them? It's all well, nothing if you don't go mm. to Edinburgh. Yeah, like, yes. Also, like, up, they're from Manchester, so, like, they're not going to come to there's, South there's End for, like, yeah. no yeah. money. North. Like, yeah. there's different scenes all over the place. Yeah, sure. So there was always, I mean, genuinely one of, like, say, Brian Damage and Crystal are a classic example yeah. of, they've, I've never not enjoyed Brian Damage. And everyone who goes mm. to watch them yeah. always really yeah, likes it. Like, my mum likes it. Mm. It's one of those, I don't know if you've, if you've ever seen them, what's great about it is, it's like, there's lots of layers to it. Mm. So if mm. you're like, you can appreciate it on face value as a sort of, yeah. two sort of dim-witted people doing sort of yeah. silly, rude songs and yeah. like knob gags mm. or you I sort mean, of or like <laughs> or like if you get if it you get the if you get it the then it's yeah. like it's twice as good because it's actually quite clever you know not yeah. in yeah, sure, it's actually yeah. very clever no but it's like it's not <laughs> it's, 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 it's basically well. like yeah. it's like if uh, Johnny Cash and June Carter were Butlin's red coat entertainment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's basically what yeah, yeah. the. That, that is a sitcom waiting to happen, yeah. isn't it? Hang on a second. Yeah, the thing is, like, he'd come Black on. Black coats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, just come on and he'd be like, it's just one of his jokes where he's like, oh, I used to suffer from depression. Not now. I look forward to it now. <laughs> <laughs> just things like that. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely. like jokes. Like, but just like non stop, like, yeah. and all the songs are silly and they're great. And yeah. it's just brilliant, like. And the first like three like sometimes like seven minutes, Crystal's just standing reading a news reading a magazine, not paying, not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But you need that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you need that for it to make. Then it's just great. Like it's yeah. just great. Are you start Brian as an MC as well? Yeah. Just, oh like, yeah. yeah. That whole really... <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Just great. Like genuinely great. Like really mm. nice as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, like genuinely yeah. like lovely. People. You want to see them actually you know? succeed more than they possibly have in yeah, that. Yeah. that bigger so yeah hopefully it works out for him yeah. in australia like I hope so device. yeah i mean it's great yeah. i mean i think the, i mean i've never been to australia but i think the, the scene's quite healthy I think, yeah yeah i think there's like you know when you go to because england's there's loads of comedians mm. so even when you go australia's not a small country but in terms of this i think the scene Steam, yeah it's not it's like i think you know if you had some more like you know talent in the gene pool <laughs> yeah. helps me yeah. it's not the yeah. same like 17 people gigging yeah, yeah. every like every gig yeah, yeah so i think it's quite useful but yeah other acts i saw I remember when i was in i saw um keith carter do nige did you oh, see keith know. carter do nige uh and it was just mm. absolutely it's called pool of life and he just did all these different characters yeah. set in liverpool right he did nige and a couple of other like colin kilkenny i think it was yeah. he did like a sort of hair like a hairdresser comes on sings like uh Sings like Scott Walker, <laughs> and then when it finishes, like all right, all right, yeah, yeah. and it's just really funny. But Nigel was like he's sort of like scally kind of like slightly okay. drug, and he just yeah. come on, he just stare at the audience for ages, be like uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> like that, and they just stare at the audience for ages, and he goes, "Am I speaking? I'm just thinking what I should be saying, you know, okay. that kind of thing." But it was like I think he's put that like put that character to bed now, but, but that was right. like. But I just saw that I was like, that's one of the, like, like you know, like yeah, it's, you instantly sometimes know like it could, just, I don't know whether it's just like the first time you see something amazing. It could mm. be anything. It could have been anyone who did something amazing. Right, you yeah. know what I mean? But you're like, yeah. that was great. But also, you know, it was just, I saw that I was like, that's genuinely one of my favourite. That's like one of the best things I've seen. Also, you kind yeah. of judge everything to. It sounds a little Paul bit sort of Paul Carthy. Mm. Yeah, but it's not in that, that but not in a sort of derivative, yes. you know, like yeah. it's, that's not like what he's doing. It's just, yeah. it's got that same kind of, there's a sort of authenticness to yeah. the character because even though it's a grotesque 
Paul Carp is mm. quite realistic as yeah. a we all know yeah. Paul Carp. It's not yeah, like a joke. Yeah. It's yeah. actually yeah. quite uh and it's, it's also really home, well and it? also yeah. you need to be a good actor as well as a good comedian to pull it off and that's what Keith's very good at nice. doing that. Well, yeah. Well yeah. should we should we not let you push the uh, button on who didn't make it then? It seems <laughs> It seems it seems cruel. No, I don't yeah. mean, I mean, who started off as in like yeah. you thought might probably didn't have the best start when you saw them, but they oh, yeah, yeah. rose so. to like high. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot. The grower, of, not you've the got show to sort of, yeah, but a lot of right. things you got to like. You got to like find your. You know, the thing mm. is, I remember yeah, like, yeah, the best advice, not the best advice, but I remember uh, when you're doing stuff. Josie Long said uh, to me, mm. just her opinion, but it sort of resonated with me. She said, "You just got to find out what it is uh, that you, what you got to find out what it is that you do well." Yeah, and mm. do that well. well and I think it's yeah. kind of like an it's kind of like USP an authentic almost, thing. Yeah. Mm. Because I know it's like you know you're all like you like the music and stuff, and it's mm. like you don't know until you pick up a guitar what your actual songwriting yeah, yeah, style is. You might yeah, want to be Rage Against the Machine, but you might find out you're actually Travis once you pick a guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like, well, do you just go? That's, well, I'm good enough at guitar to yeah. do all the Rage Against the Machine songs, but actually. If I just like let it all flow, I'm basically Travis. So do yeah, I just what embrace? You gravitate to it, yeah. yeah. Do I embrace Travis yeah, yeah. as my kind of That's thing, a, or do I like go? I want to no, be. I didn't know you were going to go that, that deep right, so okay. soon. I'm, but you know what I mean. So when you do yeah, comedy, I'm, it's like so you have to go like this is what I do. I this is what I'm makes me laugh. Yeah. yeah. This is what yeah. makes this yeah. is what <laughs> makes me work. But it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean it's the most successful thing. Yeah. Whereas it's just got an image at a minute of like <laughs> flowers in the window. <laughs> which is <laughs> against the machine. Just, <laughs> I'd love to hear that colour. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, oh, if we get that going, that'd be great, wouldn't it? But it's just proper going for it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I Fucking she's... flowers in the window. <laughs> <laughs> We can make that happen, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah or Travis doing a, a bullet to the head. I think it would yeah. be nice. Be I think we need to bring back the trend of uh, inappropriate heavy weird, covers rather than whimsical, like yeah. whimsical yeah. tweed covers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no more need, Mike Flowers pops. Yeah, yeah we, we don't need, need more. Yeah. No, pops, no, yeah. John, no John Lewis commercials. Thank you. Let's just get. Yeah. Let's just get. We the need sort thrash of, metal. Let's just get the. Uh, let's just get. Let's just get like three Herberts doing inappropriate covers. <laughs> We can make that happen, surely. <laughs> surely we know enough people between us. Oh, Splendid be... stuff. So comedy, obviously, yeah, yeah. you say has sort of mm-hmm. not dwindled away, but you've, yeah, you've yeah. put that on the back burner. So what's the what's the current? Oh, oh, one one thing I was going to say, which um, sort of uh, doing looking at your Facebook and that, there was an amazing picture at the, at the Comedy Central oh, Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cross, like, that was ridiculous. Like the who's who yeah, yeah. of comedy. That is unreal. It was, yeah. like, was it Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase, like Don Paul, Rickles. Like, yeah, Don uh, Rickles, isn't oh, so it? Like, just, is Chevy Chase as much a prick as they well, say? Well, I didn't is. really get to meet yeah. him. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> but, uh, not, not, not in a picture. Yeah. I understand that to be the case, but I couldn't yeah. possibly yeah. say yeah. for yeah. I have no personal... I have no personal... I have no personal... I have no horse in the race. I'm not sitting they're like, oh, I'm so angry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Trey, what he did to me. Me and Trace like, yeah. got beef. That was a fake yeah, smile. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm seething. Yeah, yeah. You thought Whitehall had beef with me. You yeah, wait yeah. Till you hear about <laughs> my beef with Chevy. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but that was a great example of like when you sort of one of the problems of doing comedy as well is. Mm. Sounds, but when you're like one of those acts that people don't really care about, it's quite difficult to do well. There's lots of acts right. you know that are like they'll turn up, they won't do very well. Yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah. Everyone's you kind of go ah oh, they you can tell because they're the acts people want because yeah, they're course. allowed to sort of be shit and they'll yeah, keep yeah. getting booked because everyone's gone we'll have them yeah of course and you're like oh great and then I sort of you know you sort of like half you half fuck up a gig and it's mm. like oh, they'll never have me back and you go yeah. but what what yeah, no, but yeah, they've yeah. just been shit they're them? shit yeah. constantly yeah, yeah, yeah. but you've just let the, but yeah. oh but then you want oh but you want them so it's hard not <laughs> yeah, yeah. to feel bitter about it <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah of course and it's not so much like but it's like fair play mm. but you kind of go it's really weird that like you want them mm. because then mm. like you're just they're letting them be shit <laughs> at yeah, all these gigs yeah. where. Maybe they try and out stuff, but they're fucking up the gig. You know, like, it's yeah. fun. you've got to try out new material, but you've also you've got to respect the gig you're doing and not fuck up the gig you're doing. Like, yeah, absolutely. If, if possible. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, yeah, the no, because it can, yeah. so can sort of nosedive, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've yeah. got to make sure you try and do your job at the gig you're being yeah. paid to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's it's, what you've got to do. It's the bare minimum. Yeah. <laughs> Some might argue. Uh, yeah. yeah, the admin of comedy is you've got to try and do <laughs> comedy at the gig you're doing uh, <laughs> professionally. Uh, but yeah, so we'd have that, and then I was like, no one, you know, I'd do a gig, it was hard, and then I 
was nominated for a Comedy Central Award for I do like videos and mashups. There's a video from 2012 which you can see. It's my first uh, million uh, viewed YouTube video. Wow! Oh, cool. not fun. only first, yeah. not only I've only got two, but my okay. first. <laughs> uh, and it was a thing where me and my mates for used to think we put um, Tom Selleck's moustache oh, on I a montage yeah, of yeah. Uh, Hollywood act Hollywood yeah. movies. A uh, fun game to play now is which uh, actors would not be in that montage if I was making it now, <laughs> if you watch it. Can't use him. Uh, Can't but use it him. was like yeah. so it was up for best best mashup. So I went to like America to do the red carpet and it was like I was the only British nominee at the Comedy Central wow. Awards. Record. And it's the thing I was not, I was like uh, I was interviewed by Variety magazine and Entertainment Weekly and Good Morning America and all this. Oh, wow. and you're like, couldn't even get a one line mention on Chortle. Do you know what I mean? Like, couldn't even get the echo really? to give a shit. Do you know what I mean? And you kind of Seriously? go, for fuck's sake, yeah. 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 And you're like, so just like, oh, oh my God, I mean, no I mean, one no one Come in on, England guys. gives a shit. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Like, it's it's actually, yeah, no, the echo can fuck off because we, we, we were beef with them before, haven't we? Yeah, 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 they, <laughs> they, they didn't plug our, this podcast, actually. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I mean, you know who's ruined it, didn't you? It's me. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. me. It's paved the way. I keep asking. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I mean, I should say they yeah, have, no, uh, they have, they have, they have, they have, they quite nice now yeah, yeah. to me. I don't really do anything anymore, but you know what I mean? Like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But at the time you kind of go, why is no one going? But I went yeah. to them, I was in the room, you know, it's like it's an after party. I saw like Norm MacDonald do a thing. It was like a weekend update special, met Don Rickles. Wow. Uh, yeah. Didn't really know what to do. So again, didn't know to hang. Mm. So I just hang out with this bloke at the bar and it turns out it's Adam Reed who invented Archer. Right. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Talking to him and Chris mm. Parnell, yes. Just like I was like again, like, just hang out with the first yeah, there. Just a guy yeah. Talking yeah. to the, I think the Roots were the house band, so I was talking to the Roots, the oh, house band, cool. trying to explain to him what Northern Soul was because obviously they're not, <laughs> they don't know, they just know, they just know Soul. They don't yeah, know yeah. what Northern, yeah, Soul, Northern yeah. Soul. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's because Paul Weller was on. I was trying to explain okay. like the Northern oh, Soul. Okay. They're like, what's yeah. Northern Soul? And you're like, oh my god, like <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm soul explaining <laughs> to the Roots. Do you know what I mean? This is not, this is not good. I'm out of my <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm talking about, but I feel like this is massively inappropriate yeah. to, tell a, to, Someone, tell a, to tell a soul band like how soul works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for my next trip, I'll teach you how to suck eggs, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take an egg. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Wow. So that was great. Yeah, and it, just, it was like really just ridiculous. So we didn't win, obviously didn't win, but, yeah. you know, Honey Badger won. You know, remember the Honey Badger? Uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no, it's great. Fuck, so, fuck that badger. So it was great. He just did that and then just came. It was like, what a ridiculous thing. Like a brilliant but ridiculous thing to do. It's not a bad little set of stories to have, is it? No, it's yeah, right. right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I sent you to a dinner party or two. Yeah. Right. yeah. So what was, what was your other video that got the million then? Uh, I did a thing which was um, the cast of Mad Men sing Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up, but every <laughs> word of Never Gonna Give You Up is, is one word from Mad Men. Taken from so Mad Men. Oh, nice. You sort of edit it. So I'd done a few of those. I did like One Direction do... Uh, um, Downton Abbey do One Direction. <laughs> nice. uh, what makes you beautiful? Uh, uh, the way you do your hair makes me flabbergasted. Because <laughs> didn't have, you know. Wow. And then the other one we did um, before Breaking Bad finished, we did Walter White Speaks My Way. So you've got Walter White. <laughs> no, <laughs> so how like, yeah. how long does like something like that take? Yeah, I was going to say. Months. <laughs> it's really, basically really? animating. Do you know what I mean? It's wow. like, now I think mm. there's like programs or things, but back then it was like, Physically growing, I've yeah. just got to get, I've got to like somehow torrent all the TV shows so I can get like just do a one, rough edit yeah. then I've got to like buy all the DVDs so I can get the high quality oh my days but technically this is like 2000 and you know 2009 yeah. 2011 wow. they've got to you, somehow right. like rip DVDs to a Mac when you technically can't so you're oh working with like VOB files and it's you know what I mean and then cool. then edit you just like yeah. Wow! Why have cool. I stolen yeah, no. this you think you know? Beast of a project, surely, yeah. surely that's, that's worth that's worth one fun. line, Chortle. Come on, yeah, it's <laughs> worth one fucking line. Damn, echo. <laughs> oh, wow, man! Yes. I can't believe him, man. It's, that's outrageous. It's good. Never been reviewed by Chortle. We never have any of my editing really? shows either. Yeah, no. Again, yeah. do they just do they? Go for a type. Don't know. Oh. Don't know. But like, <laughs> not not me. They just don't just don't <laughs> no. like me or want me. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. You go. That's all right. They don't, have, they don't have to review me. But you know, you go. Mm. Very weird that yeah. you know, mm. and all the things I've ever done, they yeah, never come yeah. to. And I've had some quite good reviews. Like not, but like mm. from places. It's not like I'm yeah. not getting any reviews from anyone. It's just never anything just from Jules. Well. <laughs> like, yeah, it's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> Hey, well, they're lost, right? Yeah, they're yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. They, could have, they could have had a free ticket to sit through any one of my many shows <laughs> about VHS tapes where they chose not to. Chose you not were relevant lately, though, I have to say. I was really pleased because after Del announced you was coming on, 
Oh, just, <laughs> now, so I got into the middle of the Benfleet in Town yeah. Square. No, no, but I listen, I love <laughs> microphone. I'm <laughs> almost like switching on the Christmas driving, lights. Driving around the streets. Got yeah, it, got so, it. We've with got megaphone. Him. We've got him, Pete. <laughs> got the town He's prior. He's like, He's like the blues down outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm a big... Interrupted news at 10. I'm a big fan of Chatterbits. Have you, have you, did you listen to that? David Earl and Joe Wilkins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They referenced you on oh, that. Oh, did they? they because they were talking about so you think you're funny oh nice and David Hill was like I remember him winning that yeah yeah and, and it was literally like a couple of days after Del said I was like oh brilliant I fucking I love Chatwick so I was just like and I think I texted you guys I was yes. like oh they referenced the, on, the, <laughs> oh. on Chatwick this morning and he was like yeah brilliant <sighs> uh, Jay Wilkinson mm. was the first act on at my uh, night of running South End oh really he was the first act on yeah the first they opened the yeah, gig, you, had, so. you had like James A. yeah I love and yeah, yeah. Brett Goldstein and that yeah have yeah. you been on well, his podcast I used to be in a double act with Brett Goldstein oh really have you been oh, on okay. his podcast no. <laughs> I mean that's <laughs> all about you'd think, films that? you'd think you'd think uh, absolute disgrace no no I'm uh, sorry uh Stu Goldstein. No, Brett Goldstein. Yeah, Brett Goldstein is, uh, is, was, they were kind of like, it was, yes, it's like Acaster and like Goldstein yeah. and Helm. They were kind of like the year below me. Right. Not that it really yeah. matters, but like they all came sort of next. Yeah, that's next, right. It was yeah. a year. You paved the uh, way. Well, no, but like, so they were sort of people I knew and we would do stuff. I used to run this gig called Richard Sanning's Perfect Movie. Yeah, yeah, mm. that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's right, yeah. Well, that was at the railway, wasn't it? Was well, that, that was in London mostly. I've done, I've done oh, it. Okay. I've done it there. Yeah. But um, it was at London in various places. And yeah, for the first two years, like uh, Nick Helm was the resident act. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I've had like there was like the oh, the first show I did had um like was A Caster was on my first show and then the next show I think was Brett Goldstein and Josh wow. Widdicombe and you know, it's just all those sort of people. I'd have to get on the films so. to be buried with it. Yeah, Brett I know. Goldstein. I love uh, that I love that podcast, but you'd love that, uh, wouldn't you? Well I you know, probably would. But if uh, <laughs> I was looking at I was looking at I was looking at yeah, yeah. Sure. I was looking at past episodes, but you must have been on it. Always the bridesmaid, never. <laughs> yeah. never the Basically bride. what you're doing is Phil, telling me what you're just telling me. You're just you're just pointing out all the things I already know I'm not involved. He's pretty big now, he's in like Marvel films. I know. Yeah, yeah, go care, you can tell when Bill's had at least two beers. Oh, no, he yeah, just starts offending that... guests. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but no, no, oh, yeah, no, no, big, big, there big are some um, scenes. Mm. If you look, they've got all my film recreations on YouTube of the perfect movie. And there's one I particularly like is me and Brett Goldstein recreating uh, Sexy Beast. Oh, uh, uh, the uh, are well, you no, are you gonna no. do the <laughs> job? <laughs> you know, you cardboard oh, cut out. I can't. You know, I'm not doing the job. <laughs> And he's like, you, he's got a swimming hat on. It's just great. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, did you feel a bit pissed off when like Keith Lemon and Paddy McGuinness did that? Well, well it's, it's just another one where yeah. it's like, oh, so I kept trying to pitch Perfect Movie, yeah. and everyone was like, the first time I'm trying to pitch it, it was mm. like, and everyone was like, I just don't think people like films. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you're right. Like, no one films. goes to the cinema. No one likes music. No one likes music. And it's like, every, they keep trying to do it, and then they don't, when they every time, and basically they keep trying to do perfect movie but not doing perfect movie yeah. and the reason it works perfect movie works is because I do perfect movie like yeah. the idea works but everything else you try and do you try and make it a panel show you try and do yeah. it's got to be absolutely what it like, is it's got to be the show I do yeah, yeah. I'm not, I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be me hosting or that would be preferable but yeah. it's got to be but the, the show that I do itself. is yeah. what you need to do like yeah. It's not a panel show. It's a uh, like right. it's a one person interview yeah, yeah, with sure. like stuff and bits and bobs and. Mm. But yeah, so you keep seeing something. Oh, for God's sake! And it's like, yeah. but all that happens is you do stuff like that. And it's either either fails, mm. which means people think that that's not a good idea, and not realise it's because they've done it badly, badly not yeah. because no one wants it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then, or it's like popular, but it's like quite. Like what niche, quite root, oh. root, quite root one, right. oh, okay. <laughs> and everyone's like, "I think your stuff's a little, maybe a little bit." Like, do you think people are gonna get? Do you think people are gonna get all these references about this? He goes, "Yes." Like, well, yeah. why yeah, not? Concept, why yeah. not? Why not let them find? Why not find yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, why exactly. not find out by doing it? Yeah. And then if we well, if we yeah. don't get it, we'll yeah. just maybe we'll we'll rein it in a bit. Oh. So did you <laughs> maybe get to let, let's let's maybe let's 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 maybe let, not let the audience know, decide. Yeah. Let's maybe what like they know. You did know, you get to quite far with it? Like as in meeting one. Well, or? some I always meet people and they always go, "We really yeah. like it," and then they never right, like okay. never comes to anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then I did, I've done like pilots where I've like done the studio warm up mm. for film based pilots, yeah. and then it's like, you know, why, like and you, and you look at the show and you go, "This is like not saying this is terrible. Like this is not like." This isn't going to work. Right. Like, and I don't want to be, you know, mm. you know, not not horrible, but you just go. Oh, it's a shame because yeah. this would be great. Like, I'd happily mm. like 
the do legs, studio but, warm up for yeah. this if you made this work because this right. could be really really yeah, good yeah, but it's yeah. like you know we want to do a thing and you go you can't you know you sort of can't always just get somebody who's sort of famous right okay. to sort of do some stuff yeah. and sort of talk to some people and sort of you know you've got to like the vehicle in it's got to be got somebody like, who's like yeah. you know you know I don't know but I've sort of like I've sort of accepted it's not going to happen. But every now and then I just sort of do a live version of it every now and then. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I did it I did it as a live stream show during lockdown every Saturday. Okay. So that was like a sort of uh like on Facebook live. So yeah. that was quite good. Obviously stressful. Of course. As you <laughs> know. Trying to deal with actors and comedians is uh it's fun. Yeah, you do short films as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like like what like direct them and Yeah, well, it's sort of acting sometimes. It was all sorts. I'd make my own stuff, but also uh like acting other people's as well. Mm. Used to run a experimental short film night in Bethnal Green. Yeah. To promote avant-garde cinema. I yeah. A big fan of uh, uh, like I- impenetrable nonsense. Uh. <laughs> That's why yeah. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, hey. yeah. No, we we'll take it as a compliment. See, as a, yeah. see we'll take anything. He's, yeah. he's nailed it. We're yeah. going to use that as a tagline. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's not a tap. Can't just turn it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh, so how many no. short films have you done? Um, I would say probably five proper ones, like that you'd say are like short. But a lot of them are not. not I'd say one that's narrative. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, everything else is. I did this one, which I I think is quite good. Uh, for example, it's called Six Trains in January. Oh, uh, okay. And I was uh, doing a, a wonderful temp job in South End, uh, and I was in January. <laughs> and so, as I got the train like from Benfleet to Lee, mm. I just put my film out the window on different days, and then I like edited it so you've got a uh, split screen where it's the same journey but with different screen. But obviously, it's different speeds and different because yeah. obviously we're doing. Mm. So certain bits match up, and then did that, and then just three variations of like the same journey on six different days, okay. and so it's quite good. But it's like hypnotic and stuff. But it's like yeah. it's not like oh, I just get a couple of beers and uh, oh, right. okay, get a couple yeah, of beers and watch this, this uh, watch this yeah. hypnotic rhythm over yeah. melody, yeah. Uh, and the music is just basically percussion going. Is that you doing the music as well? Yeah, yeah, do all the sort of music and lots of noise, lots of. Noise. Uh, <laughs> a drone ambient, I think, is what they call oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> don't, you, don't you know? Drone ambient. Drone ambient. So if, you, if you like <laughs> nightmare, nightmare soundscapes. Uh, have I got the a job drone, built for you? <laughs> drone ambient. <laughs> if you like no no melody whatsoever. <laughs> Where can I find this, you say? YouTube. Yeah. Uh, nice. I do have a band camp for my music, if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, delightful. I mean, As check ever, it out. Yeah. Richard Black Sandling. Black Richard Black Sandling. <laughs> Damn. Band camp, yeah? Yeah. This one time. Mm. Band camp. I did some ambient drone. <laughs> <Yeah. and stuff. laughs> this one time Intriguing. on band camp. I uploaded an, an album. It was ill advised. <laughs> Wow, we. I mean, that is quite the uh, quite the varied career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, you might find this interesting. You might not. I don't know. During lockdown, mm-hmm. uh, I made a feature film entirely on Zoom. Did you? Uh, really? Filmed okay. it in like two days. Really? Uh, yeah. Just oh, cool. I thought I could probably What's make what? a film on Zoom. Like it was. Yeah. It about? It's called Phase, uh, and it's a film which is about me playing myself, uh, having. Um, like a day on Zoom, hanging out with my friends and stuff uh, before doing a musical thing in the evening, uh, yeah. whilst also having to fight off a potential invasion of pan-dimensional clones. <laughs> uh, it's multiverse before the multiverse. Wait, can you find this? This is on Vimeo On Demand. Oh, I'll have to check it so out. So you have yeah. to check out Phase. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. it's quite, that sounds like it's got a weird spelling as well. No, no, it hasn't oh, it got a weird spelling. Oh, okay. It's just uh, Phase... P-H-A-S-E. So quite interesting people from the comedy. So like Stuart Goldsmith, comedian, comedian podcast, he's in it. John Henry Fallon, who's the story beast, he's in it. Phil Jupiter is in it. Eggsy from Goldie Looking Chains in it. Oh, nice. There they are. Alexis Dubas, who's Marcel Lucon, he's in it. Oh, Stephen Frost, you know, and his wife play my mum and dad. 
Oh, nice. Oh, and there's okay. a few other people who are like new, but you won't like. They're not yeah. like known. I always forget. I always forget someone who's yeah. definitely in it. <laughs> yeah. That's like, and, and others. Yeah. yeah. So that way. But it's just basically, but it's all Zoom conversations. Well, so the whole thing well, is Zoom. So it's all again. You know, if you're interested, it's largely all about sound to make it to create the universe off screens. There's no yeah. like edits yeah. or cutaways. It's just Zoom calls. Purely there, just facing yeah. the screen. Yeah. Oh, so it's a drama. Still Jupiter is still local. No. No. Scotland, I think. Oh, Scotland. Yeah. He was local, but he's Scotland now. That's like going all legal, it's, legal it's kind of, gentlemen on you. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of bizarre, isn't it? It's, it's We're moving a... up to Scotland for doing a podcast soon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we just follow <laughs> Jupiter. Jupiter, yeah. yeah. We, we will get him one day. Just start a <laughs> new podcast. That's, that's our mission. Yeah. There's, there's a reason he keeps moving, guys, because he keeps finding out you're yeah. stalking yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, we was we could, we could do a feature. We were originally from Sheffield. We came down. That's a great name for uh, chasing Jupiter. It's us with a cat. Trying to hunt him down for a podcast. You two just slowly circling the rings of Jupiter. Yeah, the rings of Jupiter. <laughs> it's, oh, well. it's got legs. There's okay. something yeah. here. There's something in that. Yeah. Mm. If we had someone creative with a soundscape, <laughs> yeah. we, could, uh, we, could, we could utilize. We'll, uh, we'll talk about this off, off screen. Um, <laughs> delightful. So, uh, what's what's currently in the uh, in the, the, the the career path or the? Uh, well, I mean, I've just sort of just sites. finished doing loads of stuff. So uh, at the moment, I'm just sort of. Uh, Work jobs again. What should I do next? So my my that's the excitement, isn't it? What do we do in all? What do we do in winter? Yeah. I've just finished doing. Um, I'm in. I'm in season two of the Larkins. Oh, if you okay. want to oh, see yeah. that, which oh, is nice. the Bradley Walsh uh, Re- yeah. Re- yeah. Re- 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 uh, Re- reboot. So I'm Catherine Zeta Jones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolute spirit. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm. You know, so I'm in that. So you can look, keep an eye out for me. Yeah, you can see me checking your ass out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every time I'm bending over to pick strawberries, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a strawberry for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a pile. <laughs> Looks more like a fig. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm doing a, that, and yeah, then yeah, cool. just doing. So I've got like a new musical thing I'm working on at the moment, okay. which is called Trash Pigs. Fresh which is me fresh and it's period. basically techno punk. Yeah, it's like a sweary Pet Shop Boys. Oh, nice. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that no, is something. Yeah, that's that's, really, yeah. that's <laughs> all we have to say. Sweary pitch. Sweary pitch. Are you going to gig with it or is it going to be a band camp? Yeah, thing? well, it's me, yeah. So I'm doing a gig. Well, it probably won't be on the podcast, but mm. this this Wednesday I'm doing a gig at the Betsy Trotwood in oh, uh, Farringdon. I love the Betsy, yeah. Yeah, so that's where I sort of... I sort of do a lot of stuff there because I, yeah. like, I like the pub and I like the people there and they're very accommodating to me doing things uh, there. But it's me and a, a poet, Violet Malice, who's also in phase but is an excellent poet and spoken mm. word. Uh, and she, it's like me and her are like, it's just a double act and a, and a laptop. So oh, it's okay, all sort cool. of sweary northern techno-punk carnage. <laughs> yeah. cool. Excellent. No. Yeah, that's yeah. Good, yeah. Send us some stuff. Yeah. Can we find yeah. that? Can we find if it is there Well, I mean, I'm you? on Instagram, Trash Pigs, but again, Trash, you, pigs, trash yeah. pigs. All right. Okay, all, all, you know, all one thing. All one, thing. Yeah, all, yeah, we're yeah, we're all one word. That's yeah. the age yeah. we are. What's your, what's your email? All one word. <laughs> all one word. <laughs> <laughs> all lowercase, all one word. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like we don't, you know, we haven't really, at the moment, we haven't got anything to actually put up yet. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's quite, it's been, In we've, done, we've done a bit and it's been well received. Mm. But, uh, you know, what does that really mean yeah. in the grand yeah. scheme of things? So we'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, I'm very excited by it. It's so we'll have to wait and see. So then oh, you, the role in the Larkins as well, is, 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 that, uh, is, that, is that a good piece? Or is that, yeah, yeah, I mean, just I play a... a play a like a regular. I play yeah, a yeah. builder oh, okay, who yeah. helps... Oh, okay. Returning character. Who helps uh, Par Larkin with some things he needs building. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's a potential, you know, if they ever do a season three, there's a potential they I get, could be back in yeah. season three. They they like a, season sure. two end on a cliffhanger. Yeah, they didn't write you out. Oh, yeah. It's all about me. <laughs> Does he fall off the ladder or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> the, the flat roof leak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Stuck yeah, in no. The roof. <laughs> There's subsidence, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pitch it. It's just me drinking lots of tea, okay. <laughs> smoking roll-ups, and not doing anything. <laughs> sounds sounds hellish. Yeah. I'm in. Slapping my <laughs> larkin on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it with arses? Yeah. You two. Just a oh, no, yeah, Sorry. So, yeah. honestly, keep you away from those wine comes down. You're an absolute. Know. It's animal. all the monster, mate. It's the caffeine. 
That's what it is. Monster, monster. Monster, monster. <laughs> God, that's how it's like camp. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wait. Well, well, that is yeah. quite quite the... Well, I was going to say whistle stop, Tom, mm. but that is quite the uh, in-depth. Yeah, yeah, that was brilliant. No, Looking yeah, to Mr. Sardin's weird. career to date. Yeah. That's we, you ready for your Desert Island dicks? Or? I am. Mm. You know, you know yes. <laughs> there's one thing I'm ready for. It's Desert Island <laughs> Ooh, dicks. Okay. Yes. Some might say all my life. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, let's, let's see how he gets on. Let's yeah. see if I... I, you know, let's see if I've uh, read the brief properly. Is there anything Ooh. else you want to plug before we move mm. on to that? No, just just me. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, just, uh, just available just, for uh, all action. Just uh, like put me in things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm up for uh, you know. I'm quite and if good, the echo want to cover at, it, quite good at acting. Mm. Quite funny. I'm very tall and big, so I can pretend to be hard as well. If you need someone to look mean, we can attest yeah. to that. No, he is not. indeed yeah. tall and big. If you need someone to say, yeah. you know, three lines in one episode of a thing, I'm, I'm, well, I'm your man. I'm reasonably so, priced. Uh, <laughs> we get some, we get some pictures as well. We put on the, uh, the Insta as well, yeah, so yeah. you can uh, see you how can tall he is. Up, so. Yeah, give a bit, bit of yeah. blue, bit of blue steel. Maybe just get, us all, get us all in a headlock. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of hilarious comedy photos. I'll. <laughs> I'll just we'll go back to back and I'll uh, you can have your arms folded and I'll yeah. do the I'll do the shrug like what's yeah. this? <laughs> How's this dynamic work? How's this dynamic come together? We're so different. It's like the worst cop buddy movie of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too old for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. let us let us uh, see what we can uh, we can find out more about you, uh, Richard, oh, on God. on the desert islands. I feel mm. terrible that I feel like this is where the wheels might come off in terms oh, of any, this is the best any credibility. Oh. If, or uh... <laughs> if, if anything, it can only serve to uh, further your career. I feel exactly. so. Uh, let's uh, let's 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 take two, and we'll uh, we'll come back with Desert Island Dicks. <laughs> 